Let's do the top five parent survival skills. Okay. This is the real one, right? The real survival skills. Yeah. Okay. I think it's really important, and not necessarily in one through five, because this is, we're kind of going off right. the seat of our pants here. <laughs> um, it's really important for parents to be united, you know, to, uh, the found, to know what the foundation of their family is. And for Christian parents, that foundation is Christ. To be united in that foundation, to be united as a couple so that when the kids decide that they're going to divide and conquer, which happens in every family, blended family, non-nuclear you know, nuclear family, it happens all the time, to be united as a couple. So no dividing and conquering. Correct. No dividing and Communication. conquering. Communication. Communication. Um, what would be another one? Let's see. Um, I think... This kind of goes along with all of those things, but respect for, um, for the, all the people in the house, you know. And for and, extended family. And for extended family, absolutely. Recognizing, this is big, and you did a good job writing about this, so this is another reason to buy the book. Um, but recognizing that those kids, when they are part of a blended family, love everybody in their family. If it's a divorce, uh, you know, family that's been reunited after uh, divorce or united after divorce, excuse me, they love that other parent. They love that parent that maybe is in heaven with Jesus. And to be able to speak about that parent, to have pictures in their room of that parent, even if it's an ex-spouse mm -hmm. that, that uh, was separated from the family due to, to, to divorce, that child still loves that parent and they need to be permitted to love that parent. Yeah, and, and if it's possible, allow them to talk to you about that other parent. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I know it's not easy yeah. with divorce situations yep. in that manner. And I, so that's three. That's three. Um, I think for each family member also to have a space that's theirs. You know, it might be, it might be um, a corner somewhere because Sometimes space I'm is one in of the, the corner. Well, <laughs> I'm looking for my space. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes isn't that one of the most difficult things, though, is to yes. uh, to find a place that's yours where you can go and have peace and quiet when you need it. Right. Because in all families, chaos can ensue. But when you're blending families and you're trying to figure out what rules we're following, um, which kind of leads us back to not dividing and conquering. Yes. You know. Uh, you need to have a place to go to collect your thoughts. Right. I think a really important one, too, is because you're coming from two different families, and it could be an insurance issue, it could mm -hmm. be alimony, it could be child support, social security. I think sitting down and talking with someone who understands numbers is a really wise thing to do. So a that, good financial planner. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And, and I think being forthright about what you're bringing or not bringing into the marriage, including mm -hmm. debt. Because that, right. you know, we know that in any any family and within any couple relationship, that's the thing people fight about most is money. Money, right? Yeah. And and for us, it was we had the issue of insurance and social security, and they were not balanced. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we had some questions from the children over who gets more, who gets that, and mm -hmm. came, no, this is not your issue. This mm -hmm. is our issue, and there were, that's the way it is. Yeah, and I, I, that might be five, but. Being really clear with the boundaries between parents and children, it, which mm. you just, you know, what's what's their responsibility? What's our responsibility as moms and dads to take care of and to kind of protect them right. from? Because it's not their job to know this yet. Right. And I'd add another one. Yeah. I would add to realize that you need to get out and find someone who's in your situation, mm -hmm. make friends with them, and you'll see that your family is going through the same sort of yeah. things. Even surprisingly enough, normal families have these same issues. Absolutely. I, you know, there are blended family support groups, but parental support groups I think are really helpful. Mm -hmm. and, and even if it's not a group, somebody at church, all families have, um, have challenges with transition. They have, most families have challenges with finances. Right. Most families experience tension with discipline. And when, mm -hmm. when kids leave, you know, it can be just heartbreaking. And I don't mean leave as in run away, but leave to go to college. Oh, yeah, you know, we, we really, as moms mm -hmm. and dads too, but um, that just yanks the, the tears right out of you. Yeah. 
does. There's something you addressed in the book that really surprised me, and I didn't know even that there was a name for it. It was called a triangular oh, relationship. Oh, triangulation. And I found that I had that going on in several different yeah. places in my life. So maybe you could just talk oh, about that a little bit. I was going to say that's another good reason to read the book. To okay. buy the book. Okay. But you know, one of the things the book does talk about is some of the patterns that we see in families that can be um, detrimental to growth as a as a family can kind of impede the health of the family and and that kind of leads us to a, the situation where a kid might get in between mom and dad and and uh, take on an issue that's not theirs to take on and so you know you get a little bit more definition in the book about that. Mm -hmm.